You know, I just remembered something. French the llama reminds me so much of a similar expression uh, that came from a, a, a variety show in France called Pot Pitié pour les Croissants. In English, the translation would be No Pity for Croissants. It's kind of a weird thing to actually have anger for bread products. But. French the llama. I'm going to try to use that every single time I get angry. Instead of having to worry about using you know, swear words or any other expletives. See how far I can actually uh, try it. Or either that or just use the Wheezy Waiter or favorite of shirt. <laughs> Sometimes I can actually use some Spanish swear words, but I've started using a spo the Spongebob version of wanting to swear to make it more more bubbly, more effervescent. Ah, yos! It's kind of a way to say, oh, rats. And as you can see, it is a very beautiful day. We'll try to see what we can bring to you guys on this particular tour. I forgot completely that it's an hour ahead. It's 2.32. I woke up maybe an hour and a half ago, not even. Yeah, I'd say probably an hour and 15 minutes ago. 1.15 with the, the, the advanced time. And it feels like spring is on top of us. Uh, we're not going to get any storms for St. Pat's. We usually get one storm during, before, or after, and everything's saying that, no, we're going to get some very, very fun, interesting weather. And very fun and interesting weather at that. The only problem that I have now is that with the fun and interesting weather comes pothole season. Pothole season is... Uh, seasonal favorite of all Canadians because it plays merry hell with um, your suspension, your pocketbook, your tires, alignment, especially when you really, when uh, you really don't have a choice in the matter, where you're given the choice of the lesser of two evils. <laughs> Or you suddenly face a field, uh, a minefield full of potholes, and you end up having to choose the the smallest one, the one that will do less critical damage to your vehicle. I have flights of fancy that one of these days I'll hit a pothole so big that it'll actually snap off my front axle. That's why I try to avoid them at all costs. But. That is me. On a day like today, it's wabbit hunting season. So we're gonna go around the town to see what we can find as wabbits. So folks, be very, very quiet. I'm hunting wabbits. And so is Mitch. And we're taping. Yes. Good evening, folks. Well, good afternoon, I should say. It's not the good evening. Good afternoon. Yeah, good afternoon. We've got a, a vehicle in front of us whose license plate is a personalized license plate by the name of Storms. You probably can't read it because I don't know how to use a zoom feature in this. Uh, but yeah. since this is, since this is high def, you can always zoom in yourself. Could you? Well, can't you just right click with your mouse on your screen and zoom in? Take it on. Blow it up. Yeah. Although it'd be shaky as hell because my hand isn't that steady. Growing up real good. Blow it up ten times, sir. What was it? What was it? The John Candy from uh, SCTV. Blow it up! Blow it up real good. Oh, if you lost me, I don't remember. No. John Candy's been dead what seven, eight years? Unfortunately, dude, he was actually. Uh, Wagon, it was Wagons East, I think. That was the last one he did, yeah. Yeah, that's the one he died on uh, during the shooting of it. 
didn't they complete they passed away in his, uh, in his sleep. sleep? Didn't they complete shooting for the movie though, and they were doing some post production work I would know. when he passed? I don't remember. I never even seen the movie. The only thing I do know is that uh, he passed away. I know there was a lot of controversy around him because. Uh, you heard about Curry Haim passing? Yeah, I know. Uh, Steve Malloy put a put a post on that on yeah, Facebook and a. What a, a funny post it was. <laughs> He's nasty. I like his sense of humor. Well, my reply was okay. Well, now uh, Corey Haim is dead. One of the one half of the two Corys is now gone. If only somebody could just shove Corey Feldman into the hole as they're filling in the dirt and bash him over the head with a shovel, we'd be rid of them both. Is that a sad one? Was it in front of us? Yeah. I don't think so. No, Roosh. A Roosh? I have no idea what that is. That could be the company that the, that could be the name of the dealership where you purchase it. Uh, I know it's a. Uh, it's a muscle car for sure. Well, it's a muscle car and it's also a decapotable. Uh, uh, convertible. Exactly. One kind of convertible I do adore. You don't see them very much. They're not, a, they're not in trend, these hard top convertibles. Watching one of those could go from uh, roof to no roof is just beautiful. It is, except if it's in a comedic situation where wind actually uh, flips it completely off. As I said, Mercedes Benz had these little uh, has or have these, I don't know how recent they are, five, six, seven years. Um, these two seaters with that, that offered hard top convertibles. And they actually showed it on some um, car show on uh, TSN, and it was just beautiful watching it fold the way it folded like an accordion into, into the. It it took up the, the, the entire trunk when it uh, converted to. Uh, so you had no trunk. Well, yes, because the trunk is where it went. You want your trunk space, you put up the hood. Put it not the hood, the roof. It's just weird seeing. An apparent hard roof with no seams to split up like that. Mud. This is Canada in spring. Mud. And dirt. Yeah. And mud. Soon we'll have to do the ye old Canadian two step breaking your lawn to get the dirt, grime, dust off. Yay. Oh, wait, did I press record? Yeah, I did. Did you press record? Yes. I was just screwing with you. Stop screwing with me. I'm okay. driving. It's like, oh, fucking, fucking splash into the bit of Kodiak. Don't uh, do that again. Actually, there would be no splash. It would so sound something like a wet splash. <laughs> like splash. <laughs> <laughs> 